news. Big Bang's top suspected of receiving special treatment in military. Just a quick reminder, sugar t-shirts now available on our website. Free shipping worldwide, cop yourself. A hangul, I become stronger, sugar tea. I thought you were gonna say, cop yourself a feel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I fell for my titties. Big Bang members, T.O.P. and G-Dragon are in the news again. Top is in the news because it is being investigated in his branch of the military. 226 military personnel for taking days off and he's one of the top 10 people that has gotten the most days off out of the 226 that were being investigated. At his young son district office where Correct. he's serving. Okay, I was like 226, where did you get that number from? He has done nothing wrong. In fact, if you look at what is being investigated, it's just how many days off has each of the 226 people who are being investigated taken off and he has lumped together all of the time allotted to him off. And so he was allowed to take time off. Now it's being put in the news that this is somehow incorrect or that he's broken the law or he's done something wrong. Yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. They are attacking not only Top, but also G-Dragon for taking time off of their military service, both of which have used allotted vacation days. Top was given he took 19 sick days, 15 of which he scheduled next to already given days off because of holidays or other events, which honestly, I want to applaud him because that's the way that I like to take my time off when Very I get smart. time off. You know, sure. if you've got an entire week off and you have to go into work one day, you're not going to be the most productive member of society during that one day. And frankly, Top has a lot of issues. And one thing that he said is he took a lot of that time off because of his panic disorder. Mm. For those of you who don't know, Top does have panic disorder and some problems with anxiety, as we have heard about in past years. And I honestly, it made me really mad that NBC News Desk put this out on March 19th, because not only did they talk about the days that he took off, but they also publicized his schedule. What days and what hours he's working at the Young Sun Gu office, which I think is really inappropriate and rude because this man needs to have his own life. He needs his privacy. And that kind of information, it's scary. And although I don't know the full information around the 226 military personnel that were investigated, I'm sure not all of them had their personal schedules divulged the way Tops was. I guess it's also being criticized because he didn't provide doctor's notes, which is something important in Korea. You and I both know this whenever you are sick, you have to just get any sort of note. They actually don't care if the note is real. The doctors will just write you a note sort of thing, but they wanna see the note when you go back to your job or maybe if you're a student. I feel like there's a certain pressure that you have of being somebody who does have the celebrity status to be above any particular law, to to not bend anything, to not have any fault. Because like one, one of his appointments, supposedly he went to the dentist and then people went to the dentist and they were like, dude, the dentist is open until nine o'clock at night. Why did he have to have his appointment in the middle of the day and take off work? And it's like, you don't know what he has to go through. You are not living his life. You don't know. I don't think that there, I find any problem with that. G-Dragon, however, they did have a little bit more of a case on his taking time off, but even that I don't find fault with this issue. What happened with G-Dragon? When G-Dragon's colleagues were promoted to corporal, he remained a private first class. And part of the reason why they're speculating that that happened is because he took off so many vacation days. He took off 76 vacation days of his military service so really? far. Where's the controversy there? He didn't get promoted because he took too many days off. Sounds exactly correct. Yes, however, if you don't get the promotion, maybe you're not going to be able to do active duty properly. And also there's- As if he's trying to go for active duty. He's and, trying to avoid active duty. And there's also the, how is he taking off this many days? That can't be right, that's too many days. 76 seems like a lot. But 47 of those days were when he had his ankle injury and he had his ankle surgery oh, okay. and he was in the hospital. And then- that, that shouldn't be considered days off. That's like medical. True, and that leaves less than 30 days and the average soldier gets at least 30 days for 
time off, vacation time. So it's actually, it's not really a big deal. In fact, it's so not a big deal, but such a big deal at the same time that the Korean army chief of staff, Kim Jong-un, went out and publicly spoke on March 14th saying there isn't and shouldn't be a case of special treatment. And he also said that we will take strict and fair action. So G-Dragon's not getting away with anything. I don't know about you guys, but I am really getting pissed off at the fact that all of these news organizations are attacking members of groups like Big Bang and CN Blue because of and surrounding what one of their members did. It's almost like because the names are popular, they can boost them up in algorithms. And so more people are talking and, and acting out and speaking up and I can't verbalize it properly. Because it's frustrating. Comments, you guys, what you have heard and how do you feel now that more information is coming out? It's extremely disappointing. The comments on our last video, I tried to read them all and it's overwhelming how sad people are and affected by this. People that a lot of you looked up to. Hit the comment se section, let us know what you think. Click the like button on this video. Thank you for supporting us here at Hollywood You Back. And don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood Back news. That's it, we're out of here. Hasta luego.